think there was a little touch of poignancy in the fact that uh, the mighty Kevin Peterson brought the curtain down on his career playing in some little leagues around the world. A gorgeous, powerful racehorse playing in little derbies around the world. But then I guess a man's got to do what a man's got to do and if your country doesn't pick you, then you go searching for teams that pick you. And as it turns out, by playing in these T20 tournaments around the world, KP actually became a missionary for the T20 game. And I'm not surprised at all that he was mighty popular everywhere he went. Kevin Peterson was born though, ironic as it might seem given the way he ended, KP was born for the big stage. He loved the sense of occasion, he loved the sense of drama, often he created it himself. And I think, and I've asked him this once in a passing moment, I think he was more Australian than English because I think he handled Mavericks a little better and KP was as, as much of a Maverick as any you get, but he wanted to be English. And I think England could have got even more out of the great player that he eventually became for them if they'd understood him a little better. I, I think if you look at where KP started from, he had to give up everything that he had in the little town that he was in in South Africa and come over to England because he dreamt of becoming a great player. Had to spend four years playing county cricket to qualify and then when he finally made it, there was that great sense of occasion, that great sense of achievement and KP almost went out of the way to show that he was English. And you know, kissing those three lions up in on his first tour in South Africa, all those were signs that KP was saying, England, come look at me, I'm yours, I want to be yours. And I think here was someone desperately in need of a home telling people, please offer me that. But there was another side to KP as well, isn't it? KP could KP could almost say, I am the star, come look at me. And it didn't go down too well in English cricket, which, which at that time under Andy Flower was all about fighting in the trenches, about being very disciplined. It was an approach that had worked really well for Andy Flower, one of the finest cricketers of his generation. But one size doesn't fit all and it didn't work for Kevin Peterson. And yet within all that, Peterson emerged to play some fantastic innings. He once said, my coach is like a woodpecker. He keeps going peck, peck, peck at me, leave me alone. And I think that was the way to treat Kevin Peterson. Leave him alone because very few people worked as hard at their game as Kevin Peterson did. And so it is never going to work. And it's quite incredible actually that Kevin Peterson played 100 test matches, made 8,000 runs. His average was 47, 2300s. I, I still believe he could have scored many more than those. And he produced some incredible innings. So the finest by an England player in that generation none better than the one I saw in Mumbai. 186 on a treacherous pitch, really treacherous pitch. It was a pitch made for India to go 2-0 up after that one in Ahmedabad where Kevin Peterson against left arm spin looked like a novice. You don't say that about great players but that's what it was and then he came to Mumbai and we looked and everybody's jaw was dropping. We were awestruck as he produced that innings of 186. He said later that he backed his defense, tied through that phase but wow, I mean, there's only one innings you want to remember of Kevin Peterson, it is that one. And if you ask cricket fans in India, which were the greatest innings played in India over the last 15, 20 years, Kevin Peterson's 186 will feature there. When T20 came along, he took to it like a fish to water. England's one big triumph in the World Cup was fashioned around Kevin Peterson. And his dalliance with the IPL, you could see that he was telling England, come go play the IPL because you'll come back better players. But as I said, it was a different phase. And ironically, the arrival of uh, Andrew Strauss, with whom Kevin Peterson never got along, almost propelled England towards becoming a more modern country. I had a lot of time for Kevin Peterson and I, I wish him well. I, he's been magnificent for our sport. And it's interesting that he's is almost going to spend the rest of his life, as he says, tending to the rhinos. Now the rhino has got a very thick skin and I sometimes think KP, if you had a thicker skin, maybe you would have just looked at those people around you and say, let them be, I was born to play cricket and score runs. But 100 test matches for England, some glorious innings, some unforgettable innings and innings that stamped you as, as, as a player who defined his generation it was wonderful to watch.